Okay, let's see what we have here. And today we're going to do some harm missions, some seed missions. Um, given that this is a dynamic war, and there is quite a few SAM sites uh, just at the coastline right there. So, yeah. Let's go and see what we can find if we live that long. So, waiting for the GFS to spin up. Here we go, the sick light just turned, came off down there. Oh, that was the wrong button, sorry. <laughs> uh, so, what we're going to do is take the handle to idle. Do that now and introduce fuel into the mix rather than just what would have been the APU. Waiting for this to come above 60. And we have power. That's good. So, masses and norm. Let's, let's just go without the lights today. We need the radio to be on. And actually, let's just close the lid because seeing as it's raining and all. There we go. And protection handle, or whatever it's called. So, countermeasures. We want the hammocks to be visible as well. And I don't know if this MWS is actually in yet, but let's just turn it on for safekeeping. Come on. Yes! Right, and the maps uh, it's actually not included in the uh, in the block 50 F16. So yeah, that's that. Oh, stand by on the radar. There we go. <coughs> actually, what we need now is more or less just the INS system to align. There we go. Um, there we go. Aligning the height again. As it seems that my head tracking finds me to be a bit lower than I want to be. Let's do this. Didn't I take the hump pod with me as well? Nope. I took the center lined tank instead. Okay. Let's go with that. <coughs> no easy. Okay. We still need the link 16 to be on. There we go. So we have data link. And I want to do... That's it. Okay. Checking to see if we have the brakes and rudder. Everything is working. I'm just bored at this point. Let's go. <coughs> and there we go. So the anus is ready. I'll just do this the easy way. And let's do return on the DD. Where do I need to go to? Why are we taxiing towards? So let's just go right and then take the easiest way out. <laughs> Let's do some easy taxiing. And I think. Yes, right there. The taxi. Let's go. Coming in a bit. F I don't want to tip or anything. No, I'm not really doing this by the book to be honest. <laughs> but yeah, let's just get everyone. That's really what everybody wants, I think, for this stage. So full power, let's go. And take the nose while it's steering off. Uh okay. Not much rudder rudder authority right there. And we're digging into the ground. And splash. 
probably. No? Well, that was lucky if we survived this. <laughs> oh, come on, would you? Just die already. Still have our wings, it seems. Didn't exactly die, but I think that... No? <laughs> I would think that our, our gear might have taken a bit of a hit. Yeah, there we go. Um, so that's not good. Okay. Let's do something else. Let's see if they actually want to... Uh, cut off. Engine cut off. Can we do repairs while... No, I don't think we can. Um... Nope. You know what, guys? I think we're just gonna... <laughs> we're gonna respawn another plane. Let's do this again, and do it the proper way. <coughs> because for some weird reason, everybody... Well, everything went to shit, didn't it? Okay, so, JFS. And closing the lid to... Eliminate just a bit of the noise. And do the handle like that. Right. Throttle to idle. It's a bit weird doing this with the lid down actually because now I cannot really hear the engine noise at all. It's weirding me out. Oh, that one. And we want to do the radio. Looks right to me. And as soon as we have power, let's go on a line. Right. And let's do the ham. I want to do the hams again. So, like that. And I want to do with my own paint scheme. Now I don't have this in the <laughs> What did it do different this time? Anyway. Okay, let's do it like this. And turn on the hot points and ready to stand by and I don't know. I mean, so the climb ladder, I don't want that in my heart. I don't need it, really. And once again, waiting to align. And this time we won't fuck things up. <laughs> I don't know. I don't think anyway. Um, but seeing as we actually have the easy input, we can just do this this time. Everything to standby. Let's just do do the beacon. I think. Yeah, that's turned on. That's good. Okay. So we have our arms. We have. Oh, it's already aligned. That's. No, it's not. <laughs> That's pretty premature, don't you think? Uh, three, two, one, and go! Yes. That's nice. Lovely. Uh, let's do navigation and let's see if we can taxi yet again without fucking things up. Um, this is just a minor thing. External fuel tanks. That's nice. Okay. And let's go a bit slower this time. And this time I think we'll just keep the nose while steering on. I usually don't do that because I don't usually need that much water authority. Uh, from the steering wheels, anyway. But, um, but, yeah, let's just keep them on this time. Okay, and let's just do a bit more. There we go. Right. Full burn. It's a bit of a wind kicking in today. I think that might be the reason why we just skipped off the runway and rotate come on lift off and gears up 
might need a bit more light on that hot. There we go. And slightly left bank. There we go. Maybe just go above the clouds. I don't really mind the rain anymore. Oh, I love some nice clouds. That's just really nice. <coughs> For those of you out there really wondering why I'm so amazed by these clouds, is that I'm not sure if it's a year or year and a half maybe that we got the new cloud systems. Um, before that it was just what seemed to be just 2D graphics, but now they're more fluffy and all 3D like. It's just it's just really nice to look at, don't you think? And now also with the dynamic weather system, so now that we actually took off from Akotiri, uh, when we get back, we might be uh, might be actually be greeted with something else. It might not be raining when we come back if we <laughs> if we come back. And I was a bit presumptuous, but you never know. Uh, I I think I might be uh, putting the rudders, take my feet off the off the pedals. Okay, so let's set this bitch up. Uh, let's go to our harms and power them up. And our ground radar is working and everything. That's nice. It seems we're drifting a bit. Now, why is that? Is that all, all the wind? I always wanted to be a jet pilot, pilot um, or a fighter pilot when when I was a kid, um, but never got. And I never was that lucky to to become a fighter pilot. So this is the second best thing, and this is why. Well, mainly, <laughs> this is mainly why, with all the clouds and everything. I just love going above them, and especially in, in the F-16 where you have this this clear glass canopy. Um, the view is just, it's really nice. I love it. Okay, so that would be Cyprus down there. Um, I'm wondering how far we actually have to the coastline of the mainland. If we actually want to go in there, it might be quite a bit of a, of a travel. Uh, what to say, 130-ish? We can go up there, maybe. Uh, let's just go there. Uh, heading 077. Okay. We are still drifting, though. Okay. That's not. Psh. Doesn't matter. Let's just do this then. Although it doesn't really make that much of a sense of difference. Um. Hmm. Bit of a wind from the south. Never mind. We can just maybe we can actually climb this next layer of clouds. Maybe I should just keep quiet for a bit, just the sound to really kick in. Sound of the engines, that's nice. Oh, love good sound. Okay, and we are somewhat... Uh, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much if our heading is a bit more to the north, so closer to 070 than 075. That might be okay, don't you think? Seeing as we are actually trying to go a bit more north anyway, might be more targets up there. K1 
kick the throttle back a bit. Don't really want to burn all our fuel just yet. Yeah, and I need that climb ladder. Let's just like that. It's a bit easier. Okay, so pitch hold. I uh, maybe want to do the heading hold as well. Although, uh, it's not really what I wanted, though. Stop turning. So, yeah, that's it. that's good. Okay, that will keep us on track without thinking about it too much. So we want to do the harm put the hat. There we go. Let's see what we have in front of us. So, these would be the targets, but they're pretty far out just yet. Oh, that might actually be our carrier group. Um, because uh, this, it's in the middle of the water. So, it's, it's actually these, these guys. Um, let's see if we can... If I remember <laughs> how to do this right. Uh, let's just... Can we point this? I don't think we have the targeting pad with us. But... Okay. Um, what can we do? I don't think I need this, really. Okay. I cannot do that. Um, running out of options. So I need to go to the TGP. And of course we're off the clouds, silly me. <laughs> so, of course the TGP is not able to actually look through the clouds because that would be magic, wouldn't it? Or some sort of Superman thing stuff. So, that's not going to be a thing. Uh, I want to go back to the... There we go. FCR. Right. So, this might actually be a bit of a travel. If you are out there, shout out in chat, please. Just for funds, because this might be a long, solemn ride if I'm just alone. Are you out there? Then say hi. It's just me and the clouds. Yeah, okay. Hmm. Let's go do... Oh yeah, because it, it is the carrier group that's down there. And... A little group of F-18s. Also going through the clouds, it seems. That's nice. Okay. Um, should we do some tanker training today, maybe? Well... If we don't get shot down by, let's make 29 in there. Yay! <laughs> so we won't be alone after all. That's good. He might come to intercept the 18s, the Hornets. Could be. Seems no. Are you just patrolling? Or could be what he's doing. Yeah. Nice turn. Okay, now you're heading towards what was of course three two five. That's not really an intercept course, is it? Okay. Let's see if we can find you. You are right there, I think. Um, if we do like this, and can we interrogate you? Just I want to know who you are. Just tell me. Safe space. Safe space. Um, no, I'm not really picking anything up just yet, but we are pretty fouled anyway. Looking to find a good target. Um, I 
Well, he is pretty foul anyway. 18 so miles. Um, ooh, a nice ring. Also one of the new things coming into DCS just recently. Um, with the new weather system and all. It's really wonderful. It just... Well... All the new effects. That's really good. Not really that much into all the, um, the physics in how this is made in real life, but I like it. I also saw me a rainbow the other day. Also in game, by the way. <laughs> okay. Um. You know what? Maybe we should do 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 this arming the catapult seat because. I, I usually tend to need that, <laughs> to be to be honest. Um, we're we running a bit slow, aren't we? So we're actually so far up now that we don't really have much speed, so our ALA is not that good. Shouldn't really be running that slowly. Let's just do the afterburners just to kick in, give some more speed. I mean, we still have the fuels in, in, in the tanks anyway, so why not? Um, yeah, to ground mode, what can we see? So there are some search radars. Uh, I reckon that's the coastline in there. Um, but that really should be from the data link, rather than rather than the head, the hampod. So yeah. Back to A. Where you at, dude? I mean, we're the same height and all. Should be more or less possible to find you. Maybe if we go a bit more. Uh, that's no, that's right. Changing the heading. Is this do? Zero five zero. Uh, what is that? Wondering why we're getting this because is that a Takan that's in there? I don't want the Takan in there. Nav. Oh well. Oh, that's probably the distance from to my first steer point, if I have any. And seems I do, right there. Pointing me towards my first steering point. So, a bit closer now. I'm wondering what would be more fun to go for the uh, kills or for, for the SAM sites? Not really sure to, to what would be most fun. Um, whoa! Hi there! So you're actually on an intercept course. That's. You know what? We're just gonna go off. Oh, if I can hit this. Head tracking is spazzing out. <laughs> so, okay, so you I can see, I think. Also, he's a bit lower than I am. And for some reason, he's also... He's not really interested in engaging, I don't think. There we go. We have him. Wonderful. Um, what I need, though. What? I need to go back to T to RVS, I think. So he is jamming me, or well, trying to jam anyway. But he just disappeared from from data link. 
Something's wrong here. Uh, I'm armed. Oh, there it is. Oh, shit. Okay, let's just do... There we go. And... That's... Mm, that's bad. Okay, let's just... There we go. Oi. Wow. I don't see it. Should be almost head on now. I don't really like that. Oh, this is bad. He's low. Like shit, he's low. Why did he just go in front of me though? Twenty-seven and low. Okay. Where did you go, you silly bastard? I mean, I could or should maybe grab the tanks. They are almost completely empty. It's a bit worrying that I cannot really find this guy. We should be the same height now as he was the last time we saw him, anyway. Um. Is he hiding in the clouds, or what's wrong with him? I don't see him though. Maybe the carrier group shut him down. Do we have anything in the chat? Uh, okay. I actually killed an issue 30. I just never got that message. But that, that could be why he's gone all of a sudden. Okay. So there's that. We just downed an issue 30. Right. Okay. What's next? So we have barely emptied the tanks. Need to level this out a bit. Um, what was it that I wanted to do? Oh yeah, let's just we're gonna do this. So that should be the coast. We're heading easterly. Um, the weird thing is though that I don't really see any. Am I in the right place? Yes, <laughs> I am, but a bit far south though, so let's just let's turn this baby a bit more to the north. Or northeast maybe. Just to have the city in front of us. So there is actually some uh, track radars in there and some search radars. But, oh, we're still listing to the left. Why would you position the M120s at the outmost tip of the wing where it does the most weight? Doesn't really make sense to me. Well, anyway, uh, let's see. What do we have? So there's still some targets uh, at the extreme edge of how far we might be able to to reach. Um, let's go a bit higher and dump the tanks. They are almost empty anyway. Uh, okay. 
So there we go. I'm gonna toss these babies. Bye. Oh, actually, we want to do like this, and back. Oh, maybe. What? They do actually still have some fighters up there to the, to the north. Um, not really our main concern right now. But now we're a bit lighter anyway, so that's good. Are we still drifting? Yes, <laughs> yes, we are, <laughs> and and quite a lot actually. Okay. Um, I still want to do the ham thing, though. Should we, just, should we try and do some of those search radars out there? I wanna, oh boy! So I want to do that. I may make that soy. That's it. And do we know what that is? Well, I don't know what that is. But it's still quite far out. Anyway, okay. Um, so what we're going to try and do... And you actually see that our ground radar is also pinpointing what we're looking at. Interesting. Um, we want to pinpoint this a bit better. So this PG should be as low as possible, whereas 1 would be the best. But right now we seem to have a pretty good location of... Now there's two of them. I don't recall that there was two of them just before, but... Well, anyway. Let's just give them one each. We can do that, I think. Right. Um, zoom up, please. Thank you. If I recall correctly, we should be able to, or should, be turning left and then right to have a bit of a bit of triangulation so once in a while when you log on to some of these SAM sites you will get a PGM uh, 4 or maybe 5 if that's the case what you can do is uh, place a target on the left or the right side of the hat first and then make a turn to the opposite side afterwards to uh, triangulate which direction the, uh, the signal is coming from so that's one way of doing it, if I've understood this correctly. But right now we have a PGM2, which is uh, pretty good from my understanding of this. So um, so yeah, that's that's that. And we are getting the, the fire cue, so we can actually fire the ham from this uh, from this distance if we want to. So let's do that and then fire the second one straight after. Maybe at one of the of the other search radars, maybe. And rifle, I think it is, or magnum. And oh, that's <laughs> that's lofting. Okay. Um, so we also have pretty good tracking on that one. Let's do that. Okay. And are you gonna? Yeah, you're gonna do the same. Okay. Nice. <coughs> Let's turn left to see again, and hopefully back to... Oh, the moon's up. I think that's the moon anyway. And... Oh, there is actually... There might be some other air targets that we can have a look at. That's what, <laughs> that's what I'm trying to say. Uh, before just leaving you hanging, um, can we find those though? I mean, what the height? I think that's 26, I'm not sure. 36? Okay. I already have a page found on that guy. And he's locked. Now, what can we do with these informations? What are you though? Not getting any information, but he is... He wants to play. Okay, let's do it first. There we go.
Uh, that was pretty extreme, that angle, but... Do you mind not firing stuff at me? Let's just break his log if we can. Yeah, he really wants to play, for some good reason. So let's do that. Um... You know what, let's just ditch the jump. And preferably not being killed, okay. So that happened. <sighs> well, that was pretty poor uh, defense anyway. I'm wondering if our if our harm missiles actually... That's the M120. Where did our harm missiles go? <laughs> I'm not sure. And what is this tracking? It is trying to track something, but I'm not sure it hits anything. Are you still tracking something? It was tracking something. Okay, but it missed. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. Well, there's that. Uh, oh boy. Oh well, that was a poor performance from my part, anyway. I'm wondering if we should just take off from Incelic instead next time. <coughs> well, gotta go walk my dog, so I will be off and on a bit later. So uh, you just hang tight out there, and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.